Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And now that we have our app working, we have our login set up, what we want to do is start making our site more secure. Now, when Meteor ships and you first install Meteor, there's a couple of packages that aren't great for security, but are great for getting started really quickly. One of those packages is Insecure. Now, Insecure allows for some actions like creating a new resolution to be done from the front end code. However, we want a little bit more control over these. So what we're gonna be doing is removing the package Insecure and then showing you what to do next so that your code is not only secure, but works well and is reusable. So check it out, we're gonna get going on that right now. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and remove this package that's insecure. Now we've added packages before, so removing packages should be just as easy. We just need to type in Meteor and then remove and then the name of the package. And this package comes by default in Meteor, so you didn't have to install it to have it. You automatically have it when you create a project. So we can say insecure like this. So Meteor remove insecure and it's going to go ahead and remove this package for us. Now what you'll notice is that our application, if we come back to Chrome here, uh, do that, you refresh, our application works fine. Uh, however, there's some things that just don't. When we click uh, one of our checkboxes, you'll notice it's not persisting. It doesn't wanna hold that check. Again, if we add a new resolution, it sort of acts like it does something, but nothing happens. And if you open your developer console, you'll see we're getting update failed access denied, insert failed access denied. What we're doing is preventing users from accessing methods for our database that we don't want them to access. So by doing that, we're essentially sort of cutting off that front end back end connection. So how do we bring this back into our project? Well, it's actually really, really super easy. What we need to do is create methods that have access to the database that will do our insert and our update and our delete for us. And then we can call those methods from the client side code. And that way uh, it sort of adds a little bit of code, but then you can uh, call those inserts and call those updates from anywhere in any part of your client code. And it makes it nice and reusable, but it also makes it secure so that you can't uh, go ahead and just call this insert function from the console. And it prevents a user from essentially opening up their JavaScript console and then typing in uh, resolutions.insert and being able to actually have that work. So let's go ahead and check out our code now. So before we have this Meteor is client. And where we had our events, we said resolutions.insert. So let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna copy this resolutions.insert. I'm not gonna delete it yet. I'm just going to copy it. So let's come down to the very bottom here and I'm actually even gonna go below the is server part and just add some new lines. And what we wanna start typing is meteor.methods. And this is basically some methods that our, our application will have access to on the client side. These are some methods that the application will have access to on the client side and will be able to block things like based on a uh, user ID. Basically we wanna make sure a user's logged in before they can add a new post or else it's going to get denied. So let's go ahead and add a new method inside of here. And just like any other JavaScript object, we just do add uh, the name of our key. So this is going to be add resolution. Uh, make sure I spell that correctly. Okay. Add resolution is the key values. Uh, so we have colon and the value is just going to be a function. And inside of this function is what is going to be passed into this add resolution. So to, for that to make sense, let's fill out the rest of the function really quick. And I'm going to paste in the resolution.insert that we had here before. So let's take a look at this right here. We have resolution.insert. And the only thing it's asking for is a title, right? Because created at is going to be a new date. So the only thing that needs to get passed into this function in this uh, method here is going to be the title. So we can just say title. Now, when we call this add resolution method, we're going to send the title 
it's going to hit this function and it's going to use that title in our insert here. So while the code for the insert has actually stayed the same, the context is a bit different. We're calling inside of another method that we're having to pass in the values to. Okay, so now that we have this method here, we need to actually call this method instead of adding the insert in our client side code. So let's scroll back up to our client side code where it says resolutions.insert. So instead of having this block now, so instead of having this resolution.insert here, we want to use a method called call. So we can say meteor.call, and this is going to call one of our, our methods, right? One of our meteor methods. So inside of quotes, we want to pass in the name of the method. Since I uh, don't want to mess up any sort of spelling, I'm just going to copy this, add resolutions title. I'm going to paste that in right here. And now we're going to have a comma. And this comma is going to be the value that we're passing into this function. So if you remember, we wanted to pass in the title. We have this variable title that's uh, grabbing the event target to title value. So we can just say add resolution in quotes, comma, title. Now what this is going to do is it's going to hit uh, this add resolutions. It's going to pass in title. So it's going to come essentially down here. It's going to run this function. It's going to insert a new title. Uh, with the created at new date, and then it's going to come back here, set the event title to nothing, and return false. Okay, so let's save that. Now, if we come to an application and we want to add a new resolution, we can say new, enter, and you can see it's working again. Now, if we try to do something where we were updating these by checking these boxes, you'll notice we still get this update failed. So we now have our resolutions working. We can add a new resolution, but our update and delete no longer works. So in the next video, we're gonna take care of our update and delete methods using this same pattern. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.